Hello there! I'm teacher Mariana, language instructor at Berlitz, and today I prepared some terms from the business world in English for you. I'm sure some of them might sound very familiar, especially if you work for a large company. For those looking to stand out in the professional world, these terms will be very useful. Just for you to understand the dynamics of the class, let me explain how it will work. All our video classes are based on the Berlitz method, the only one that allows you to leave the first class already speaking something in the new language. In our case, it's English. First, I will present the theme. Then, we will dive headlong into the content, in this part always speaking only the target language language that will be taught. And finally, we will review what we have learned with some practical proposal. Is that okay? Before going to the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like and share this video with that friend of yours who is on the journey towards fluency in English just like you. Let's start speaking English! In the business world, there are a lot of specific terms. You can check out 70 of them on our blog by clicking the link in the description below. But for now, let's focus on some of the expressions that are frequently used in companies such as schedule. When you have to deliver a product, a service, a report or any other material to a person or a company, you probably have a deadline to follow. To deliver the stuff on time, most people create a schedule with every task they need to complete each day. If an employee fails to keep up with that, that means they are behind schedule. When you are behind schedule, does your boss ask you to give them updates on your work as soon as you finish one of the steps? If you do that, you are keeping them posted. They ask, keep me posted and you obey because you have to follow your boss's instructions. We know that sometimes it is not easy to keep everything by the book like following rules or doing all of your tasks very strictly, but sometimes there is some red tape we have to respect, unfortunately. Red tape or an excessive amount of bureaucracy and formalities. If you are a very committed and enthusiastic employee that excels on everything but sometimes does more than it is expected, you might as well have an over delivery problem. Even though the companies usually expect a lot and raise the bar very high, everyone needs to be careful not to over deliver results. In the sales area, one of the main functions is to attract prospects that are potential customers, potential buyers, and turn them into customers of the company. The noun they use to refer to that process is a follow-up. Sometimes it is not easy to come up with new ideas to lure new customers, so brainstorming, brainstorming is required. When you brainstorm, you meet with your co-workers and try to find a way to overcome a problem. But if you are really tired of brainstorming and you are already ahead of schedule, not behind schedule, and if you are exhausted from working around the clock, it's safe to just call it a day and go home to rest. So, did you like the vocabulary we presented? Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the Berlitz channel, turn on notifications, and if you want to learn 70 more business terms in English, the blog link is in the description below. Thank you so much and see you soon! Bye!